Hi, I'm Austin Zimmerman, Product Specialist with Houston Metal Sawing, Houston's premier metal sawing and processing facility. Martin Siddick Stainless Steel is named because of its magnetic properties. It's magnetic because it has a higher carbon steel content rather than alloy steel. Whereas your austenetic steels like your 304, your 316, your 309 have more alloying steels in them, making them more ductile but more corrosion resistant. So if you need a higher tensile strength stainless steel, you'll go with a 410 or a 420 Martin Siddick stainless steel. Or if you're looking for something that's more ductile with more corrosion resistance, you'll go with an austenetic stainless steel being your 304, your 316, and so on. Centrifugal castings in their raw state have an aggregate which is like a rock on the outside of it after the pour and it makes them really hard to cut. So we're going to be using our Velox 1080 machine. It's got a 30 inch cut capacity with a 2 inch blade on it. Sawbladedata.com gives us a good baseline for any cutting process that we use here in Houston Metal Sawing and we used it here today to set up our stainless steel. Um, it's gonna tell us that we're gonna be able to cut at 125 feet per minute with this Q1002, and we're gonna be able to cut in four to five square inches a minute. Now, I wanna make a note that that four to five square inches a minute is if the material was clean or like a piece of billet or that something that's been machined that did not have the aggregate on the outside of it. So, taking it one step further and with the knowledge we have here, knowing that the casting is extremely hard, we're gonna to have to slow that down to about two to three square inches a minute to be cut. Now, this carbide blade is not gonna have any issues cutting through that aggregate, but we wanna make sure that we take a good chip load through that rock, so we're gonna to have to slow the blade down. So when you're setting up the part on the machine, you're gonna to wanna to keep a good heavy feed pressure as if you were cutting an abrasion resistant material, but you're gonna take that feed rate and slow it down to match that two to three square inches a minute that this part is gonna to wanna to cut at. We chose a Q1002 blade over a bimetal blade due to its high abrasion resistant tooth. It's got a triple chip ground carbide tooth on it that's precision machined and it's going to give us a nice machine finish through this part while keeping great blade life and saving us money by being able to cut over 10, 15, maybe even 20 parts in this high abrasive aggregate material such as this 410 stainless. Another thing that's going to aid us in the cutting process, when cutting such an abrasive material you build up a lot of heat we're gonna need a good coolant. So we're gonna be using Sawblade.com's C5200 sawing fluid. It's a semi-synthetic fluid that's a good general purpose workhorse, got good lubricitors, got a good detergent package. So not only is it gonna pull heat away from the blade and the material, but it's gonna keep the blade and the material clean throughout the cutting process. A chip brush's main goal on the bandsaw and the whole cutting process is to keep the chips out of the gullet. That way they're not getting carried around and being brought back into the cut. Another part that people take for granted is the use of an industrial carbide guide. At Houston Metal Sawing, we change our guides quite often, maybe even one, two, three times a year. And we do such to keep a good quality cut. The use of a good straight guide on a machine is gonna ensure that you have a precise precision cut through that material time and time again, giving the, our customers the best possible cut every time. If you're in the industry and you're looking for a quality set of guides, all you gotta do is log on to sawblade.com where they're fast, affordable, and you can get same day shipping. Like I said, Houston Metal Sawing has been in the industry for over 50 years and we have an enormous capacity. We have everything from 3 8 all the way to five foot cut capacities and we service everything with our 25 ton crane. So whether you're doing simple or you've got a high production job or you're cutting something very difficult like a central fuel casting, give us a call, request a quote at houstonmetalsawing.com.